and then we'll go ahead into teasing it, adding the oil, and being done. Bada bing, bada boom. How you like me now? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. I'm Natasha, I'm a lifestyle, beauty, and fashion influencer, so all the content is related to that. Please hit that subscribe button, it really helps support me and my channel. Today's video is a hair tutorial. I show you exactly how I got these beachy natural waves using the dry bar curling iron. So if you wanna see how I did it, stay tuned. And before I go ahead and put in my clip and extensions, I am going to do a little hack for you guys. So usually I'll have dry shampoo um, and I'll put some on before styling my hair to absorb the oil, but I don't have any dry shampoo. I don't even have baby powder. So what I am going to use is this NYX HD finishing powder. I'll pour some in my hand and add it to my hair to absorb some of the oil. And I'll just add a little bit of powder to my hand and then just go ahead and and put it in my hair Ooh, all the particles all over the place so this helps to take away some of that oil that I've accumulated since I haven't washed my hair in a couple days just so that it can look a little more fresh when styling so it's not just on your skin that it absorbs the oil it can be used for the hair as well this has definitely been one of my hacks and I am so happy to share with you guys because it is a game changer. I'm just gonna part my hair and I'm gonna start putting in the clip and extensions. Make sure that you start as low as possible when clipping in the extensions because you want to make sure that they're completely hidden if you start too high you'll be able to see them up in this section and honestly I just kind of eyeball it I don't really do a straight line or anything but it works We're almost done, I need a couple more lines and then we can start using the curling iron to do these soft, beachy waves. Okay, so I'm fully done with putting in all the clip and extensions and now that my hair looks nice and full, I'll start using the curling iron little by little and making those soft curls. So I'll show you the exact trick to making it look super beachy and super effortless. This is the curling iron I use. This is from a dry bar. I've had this baby for about three years now. It is literally the best hot tool that I've ever used and it's still very much new. It works spectacular and basically it has a clamp, however, I've never used the clamp. I actually wrap the hair around the clamp because I find that the clamp makes it harder for me to actually make these beachy waves and sometimes my hair gets stuck in the clamp and that's a whole disaster. So I'd rather not use it. So yes, I'm not using it the way it's supposed to be used, but the way I do use it works perfectly fine for getting those waves that you do want. And I turn this on to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, so I'm gonna wait a little bit so it can get hot and then I'm gonna start um, styling it. So So to make it easier on me, I've parted it in half and then I'm just gonna work on the left side first, get all of the curls done and then I'll move my way to the right. So the key is always holding the iron with the opposite hand of the hair that you're working on. So I'm working the left side of my hair, I'm holding it with my right and I usually go through the back and I just start wrapping my hair around the curling iron. As you guys can see, it's completely wrapped. now. What the trick is, is to leave maybe like one inch of the ends completely straight. You're not wrapping it around the iron at all. You're leaving it without any heat. That's really what's gonna add that like soft, effortless look. And it's what my hairstylist actually taught me because before, I used to wrap the entire strand onto the curling iron, now I don't. So you leave it on for 10 to 15 seconds and that should be good. So you see? 
and later on we're gonna separate the curls that way they don't look so so tight and we're gonna tease it a little bit last piece of hair left on the left side once we're done with this we're gonna go move to the right and then we will be done and I'll actually do some baby hairs for you guys as well this is the left side I'm gonna add some oil to the ends because actually I have to cut my ends and they look crazy Your girl needs a cold glass of water because I am sweating bullets over here. I shouldn't have worn this dress for filming. My bathroom is extremely hot. I feel like I'm in a sauna. I feel like my makeup is sweating off. I feel like my hair is getting frizzy. This is crazy. Now that we've done the curls, I'm gonna add the oil before I tease it. And I use this Bumble and Bumble oil. It is amazing. I'm almost done with it and I have to restock. So I just put a little bit on my hand, rub it together, and I'm gonna rub it on the ends. On the ends, you see? Okay, so to tease it, I'm just gonna brush it. I'm just going to brush it out a little bit. And once it's teased, you guys, it looks like this. So these are really soft, natural, wavy curls where it doesn't even look like you just, you know, took a whole 30, 45 minutes on your hair. It looks super natural and it just... It just really looks like it's all my hair and the hair is flowy and we are basically done so I'm just gonna add the baby hairs and I'm gonna use my lovely little baby comb and I'm gonna use the edge booster which you've seen in the previous videos that I've done so let's just do a little baby hair Today I showed you guys how to do the natural beachy waves so that it looks like your hair is full and it's effortless and you barely touched it. But you guys know that there's a lot that goes into it from product to the curling iron to technique. And next time you guys do your beachy waves, just do exactly what I said and it'll come out like this. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps to support me and my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!